My six-year-old recently said to me, what was it like when boys were in charge? And I found this to be exceptional and proof that I'm sheltering her in just the right way. People, both the makers and the customers, are my favorite part of this business by far. I've always been a people person and I love connecting with and learning about both the makers and the buyers. The name Wolfbait and Bee Girls actually comes from a book called Chicago Confidential that was written in the 1930s. It had the names and numbers of escort services and head waiters in it. And it was meant to be given to heads of industry to bring them to Chicago after the Great Depression. Wolfbait was a chapter about how all the girls were coming from the farms looking for work and how easy they were to underpay and take advantage of. And then later on there's a chapter called Bee Girls and G-Strings and it's about how the only jobs that women should have are barmaids and burlesque dancers. So being two very empowered, very energetic, very rebellious women, we decided to take those derogatory terms and show Chicago what women in business can do. Jenny Stadler, my business partner, and I were both making women's collections. And we first looked for a studio space to be creative in, and then decided it should have a retail aspect so we could showcase our wares directly to the customer. And then we also knew that so many of our like-minded friends needed to share in that space. Everything that we sell has to be made in Chicago, or it has to be a not-for-profit fair trade certified. From this poster celebrating the different neighborhoods through the style of hot dogs that resemble the, the locals, to uh, I Love Chicago flag cards, hand-drawn map cards, and little notebooks with some of Chicago's architectural delights. We don't make things so trendy that they're meant to be disposable. These are meant to be heirlooms. They're very well made by very caring people, and we want you to have them, wear them, and enjoy them for a long time. We love to carry upcycled stuff, and we do carry a lot. We have necklaces made out of CDs, earrings made out of pencils, stuff made out of bike tubes. Upcycling is a wonderful trend that we should all embrace. I, myself, am a designer and a maker. My brand, Bruiser, is for young women, primarily pants. I call this business cheetah. It's like the cross between a rock and roll cheetah print and a business khaki. My mom has always been a role model for me. She's the one who taught me how to sew. She's always encouraged me to look within to find my purpose. And I think when you do that, it's attached to your talent. It's not something you're not suited for. I also have many customers that I adore. Uh, Whitney Bradshaw being one. She's an incredible photographer and also the head of the visual arts department at the School of the Arts here in Chicago. She recently did an outcry show and she took pictures of hundreds and hundreds of women, including myself, screaming. And it's really about women being heard. Don't let someone else, be it a, a man or anyone, decide who you are or what you're capable of. Our customers inspire us. A lot of customers turn maker and begin selling here. It really is a blurry line between what role they're playing in the store. It's an informal community center in so many ways and you can be both a maker and a buyer and a friend and a mentor all in one place to everyone. We have a great t-shirt that Vitchcraft, a local woman designed, it says put the guns down. 100% of those proceeds go to iGrow Chicago. They're doing great things throughout the city to reduce violence, especially among youth. And this collaboration of a local maker and a local charity is the kind of thing that we want to see more of. I hate to give advice because I've never been one to take it, but I do think that if you're going to be an entrepreneur or a maker or set out on your own path, you have to make sure that you're following your passion. It's going to take a lot of hard work and the rewards are very distant in the future, so it better be something that you care about that answers something to you intrinsically. How do I measure success? I think it's really ambitious people that have a hard time answering this question. And I think that I will always want to do a little bit more, or maybe I'm just still young enough to be energetic. I don't know. I think that there's a lot more that I could be doing, and I'm gonna keep trying to do it. Woof woof, woof bait. <laughs>